All right, everybody, we got to break this play down. This might be one of the ugliest plays I've seen in all of baseball. If this happened to my high school team, I'd be, I'd be pissed. But this is major leagues. We've got the Tigers against the Twins. It's the bottom of the ninth. One out, men on first and second, 2-2 two, two count to Miguel Sano. Here's the pitch. Ball is driven to right field. Now, we're going to break down offensively and de defensively what just happened. So first thing is, with one out and a ball hit in the air, that smash in the air, you see both of these runners here, first and second, right, for the Twins. You see them both start to go off the base. But now this runner stops, and he's going to come back and t try to tag up. And this runner's going halfway, okay? First rule is, with a man on second and one out, and a ball hit, our first instinct isn't to tag. Our first instinct is to get off of the bag. Because if the ball drops, we need to score, right? If we run back and tag, and this guy catches the ball, well, now we only get the third base. Doesn't really give us a huge benefit with two outs. If he doesn't catch the ball, and we go back to tag, then again, we can't score. So, this ball, now this is, this is clearly misplayed here, right? So Grossman kind of doesn't get the greatest read. Kind of mistimes his jump a little. Ball hits off his glove. So now the ball rolls to the fence. Now he picks it up and throws it home. Now somehow, this is, this is exactly why you never run back the tag in this situation. Now we're rounding third. We should have been scoring easy. This should have been the easiest run scored ever. That ball not only hit off his glove, it went all the way to the wall. We had to run all the way there and pick it up and throw it in. And we still don't score, all right? So now, if you're the Twins, right, if I'm the Twins right now, if I'm the manager, I'm going ballistic right now. But don't worry, because Tiger's going to help us out. So now the cutoff man takes the ball, and he goes to throw the ball home, and he throws a one, two, three hopper where the catcher has to fall down and try to block the ball. But hold on a second, because now we've got big problems. Because this runner decided that he wanted to go tag with one out, he wasn't able to score, so he had to stop. Well, Miguel Sano is rounding first, and he said, I've played baseball for a long time, and any time I've ever hit a ball this hard that the right fielder jumps up and hits off his glove and then rolls all the way to the fence, I always get a double, right? Even though I'm huge, I always get a double. So he just keeps running, right? Now, could you say, hey, you got to keep your eyes up. you got to watch the runners in front of you? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I will say, though, the runners in front of him <laughs> did not do a very good job, okay? So now we've got a problem. This guy sees that Sano is way over here, coming to second. So he says, well, I guess i got to run over here, even though I've got a runner standing on third base. So the catcher now gets up. Now, okay, so now first he goes to throw, which doesn't really make a whole lot of sense because we have a runner here, right? This guy's running. So what we, what we have to do is we can just start running this way, let this guy continue to come here. He's going to make a decision. Does he either want to just come here, have two men standing on third, so no, we'll take second, we tag the runners, and now we'll have second and third with two outs, or does this guy say, no, I want to try to get into a rundown here and, and create, try to create something. So what's he do? He stops right there. Okay, so now he's stopping and he's going to go back. Now you've got a choice. What are you going to do? Um, the one thing I wouldn't do is I would not throw the ball to third base here. What I would do is I would continue to run. I'd make sure this guy's going to start to try to go back here. And then I basically would have to get him into a rundown. This guy would start to close the distance. I'd fire the ball here. We'd try to catch and tag him quickly. If we throw the ball, if we get him running this way and we throw the ball here and this guy decides to take off, we throw the ball home to the pitcher here. Uh, we've also got this guy coming in here, okay? We're in the major leagues. We should all be able to throw and catch the ball without any issues. But what does the catcher do? He decides, what the? <laughs> I have no idea. He runs, runs, then says, I'm going to flip this ball for some reason. Even this guy's saying, don't throw it to me. Run that guy down. Like, this guy, <laughs> this guy knows I don't want the ball. So the, the catcher says, I'll throw it to the left fielder, apparently, right? Well, we don't even have a left fielder out there anyway, right? So <laughs> the left fielder, where is the left fielder? I get, the left fielder, I guess, is, is way over here now. 
So he flips the ball there, and we've got nobody in left field, and now we've got an absolute circus. Someone put a tent over it, and the game is over. Okay, so that was that was bananas right there. So many mistakes on this play is just incredible. But really, you know, it all starts, it all starts, let's go back here for a second. It all starts with him stopping and wanting to go back to tag on a ball that is smash. I mean, this ball is a rocket shot. It is a rocket. Now, I know it's, it's, it's not a good job by the right fielder. But that is not just your routine, okay, I'm going to go back and tag up play, right? Always think, with one out and you're on second base, you have to try to score. With nobody out, your instinct is to get back and tag. If this happened with nobody out, fine. But with one out, you have to get off the bag because if the ball drops, you have to score. And that ball drops, and there's no way that that ball should drop, bounce off the 365 sign, we pick it up and throw it in, and you're just you're just hitting third. You're just hitting third as the ball's being thrown to the cutoff, man. After all of that, right? So that really, really messed everything up. All right. And then again, from here, now we have an absolute circus. And once you have this situation where you've got two guys right next to each other, just kind of keep running. Just keep running. See what this guy does. He's going to commit back here. Like I said, we should be good enough to make a throw and a tag with this guy. Or we make a throw and then we redirect the ball back home and we tag him there. Right? But, but don't, don't do that. That's, that's not a good idea. There's a good slide right here, by the way, too. Not sure what this slide's going to do. Look cool, though. No, no chance. I mean, we, <laughs> we got Sano at third, so that's good. We got they get Sano. Guys, game's over. Game, game ended. So, that's great. Great second out, but time to celebrate. That's all we've got. That's the major leagues for you. Haven't seen that one in a while, but pretty ugly play. Again, if I'm a high school coach and this happens... I'm going to need a new clipboard at this point, but the major leagues, there's always tomorrow. I guess that's why they play 162 of them, so that hopefully you can forget about this one as quickly as possible. Let me know what you think about this play. Is this the worst play you ever seen? It's got to be up there. It's one of the craziest things I've seen. I've made some videos on other ones as well, though, so that's all we got. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, give a thumbs up, all that good stuff. We'll talk to you later. If you've got hitters that you're looking to improve before the start of next season, this is essential for you. Matt Antonelli here, former Major League player, first round pick, and college coach. With this course, we're going to show you exactly, step by step, how to generate power, develop bat speed, and enhance swing mechanics. Regardless of your hitter's age, this course is going to deliver advanced hitting techniques that will allow any hitter to get better and make an impact at the plate this spring. We have a full catalog of training content that you can access from anywhere at any time. This course is perfect for players, parents, coaches, instructors, and more. It offers a comprehensive package of drills and techniques that you can directly implement. Our course has helped hitters all over the country at different competition levels, and the feedback that we've received has been outstanding. The work you put in now will drive your success at the plate this spring. Get the essential knowledge that you need to take your game to the next level.